Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor and YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and with me today is Matthias Breschan. He is an Austrian fellow. He is the new CEO of Longin, and as you can imagine, I'm at the headquarter of Longin because, as I told you, uh, Watch Advisor stays analog, and so you are not going to see a hologram, but mm -hmm. Matthias live, and I'm live too, so no digital, real stuff for real people. <laughs> Matthias, I made it to come to see you in uh, saint imier How are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. I would have preferred actually to come to see you to Austria, but uh, seeing the current situation, uh, we yeah. are not uh, traveling a lot. Huh? So thank you very much for having taken the time uh, and the effort uh, to come to see us here in saint -Imier, huh? Yeah, and thank you very much for lifting the Austrian flag out there. It was really uh, like coming home when I saw it and it's a nice, uh, nice little yeah, extra and thank you very much. Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner from Tobel, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. Matthias, uh, you, you were uh, appointed the CEO of Longin uh, last year in July, in the middle of the pandemic. So it was uh, like jumping into the crisis. Boom. <laughs> it was not the nicest moment you can choose uh, to start a, a, a fantastic job in a fantastic uh, company. Uh, on the other hand, it was maybe also a, a very interesting moment because remember last year, from February until June, July, almost all our point of sales around the world uh, were closed. Uh, so it was really a very difficult situation, I think, for all of us. Uh, but then the situation started to get better in some countries around uh, May, June. Uh, in the summer, actually, we worked quite well with uh, people. They did not travel anymore. They could not spend uh, money on uh, any uh, leisure activities, so watches were very popular. And for Longin then, and that was maybe a lucky situation for me, uh, starting the 1st of July in August, we had the first month in which we achieved a higher turnover than in 2019. And uh, that was, uh, of course, a very positive sign, and it continued like this until the end of the year, uh, where basically we always were able to achieve the 2019 numbers, which was actually a record year uh, of Longin. So this was a very positive, uh, I would say, uh, turnaround. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to catch up all the losses of the first half uh, with a very strong second half in 2020, but it was a very good sign. The fact that you're very well established in China helps a lot. The fact that you are established on e-commerce helps a lot. And uh, yeah, probably also your retailers seem to be very active and, and positively working with local clientele. That's not, the, not, that's not evident because lots of jewelers today have the problem. They can't activate local people because they are no longer used to work with them. It changed a lot. Uh, during the first lockdown, most of our uh, retailers uh, and also us, uh, we were in a bit of a passive situation. We were sitting here and saying, okay, well, uh, everything is closed. We cannot do much. We have to wait that things open again. And then uh, we all got organized. We all got acquainted with this new situation. We all uh, became innovative. Of course, it accelerated also the rollout of our e-com activities. We had by the, when I arrived, uh, so uh, mid of 2020, in 12 countries, uh, a corporate um, uh, e-com. Uh, by the end of last year, already in 18, and we will cover all Swatch Group countries where we have a subsidiary, 33, by the end of this year with a corporate e-com. And of course, uh, uh, that uh, helped a lot. And then also, I think the way that our retailers uh, started to contact their customers, uh, present uh, the novelties to them, either at home or uh, on, uh, on with webinars. Uh, so everybody got creative, uh, and that helped also, of course, 
that uh, at the end for Longines in 2020, mm -hmm. uh, uh, despite a very complicated uh, environment, uh, was uh, uh, not a very bad year, I would say. Yeah. yeah. How um, would you see Longines today? Uh, it's about almost a year now that you're here, almost. Um, uh, but how do you see Longines as an entire um, yeah, company uh, being very successful, being one of the major pillars of the Swatch Group, uh, competing against some really tough competitors, but you're always doing better. I'm telling you all <laughs> the time, look at that quality of Longe. I'm not saying it because he's sitting here, he's not going to pay me anything, <laughs> neither hit me, but it's true. Check out this incredible quality of Longin. It's there. You have been really establishing and, 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 and raising that quality. I think people seem more and more to appreciate it and to realize what they get for the money end of the day. So where is the journey uh, with the new CEO, Matthias Brescia, now going to with Longines? I think the first thing is uh, uh, to really say that Longines is in an extremely healthy condition, a very strong brand, maybe one of the biggest success stories of the 20 past years in the watch industry. Uh, and this, of course, me now that has, first of all, to adapt to the brand, to understand what made the brand so strong, to make sure that we keep these strong elements also for the next 20 years. Uh, and uh, when you look at this balance of uh, classic watches, uh, uh, sport watches, uh, of uh, watches that are equally interesting uh, for men than for women, and all this under the umbrella of elegance and attitude, I think we have uh, such a strong uh, DNA and brand message uh, that uh, we can really build uh, by looking in the past of the Longines, the future, to guarantee the success of the brand also for the coming years. This is now looking into the past of the brand. Uh, the, this means uh, if I'm uh, reading in between the lines, so you're going to focus even more on the, on, the, on the interesting history and pulling out some exceptional watches or playing a little bit more with the history of the brand, with that rich heritage. Before I joined Lonchen, I was already for 20 years in the watch industry. Yeah. Yeah. He was the CEO of Rado, if you think, where did I see the guy? Rado, now here. Despite the fact that I was for more than 20 years already in the watch industry, there is a lot of things that I didn't know about Longines, and I discovered how rich this history is. And of course, Longines, always with its heritage pieces that are extremely successful, but I think we will even go one step further of using this very unique, very rich heritage and history of the brand where Longin made a lot of very unique innovations uh, to bring them back, tell the story also in the future, but of course, uh, uh, all under the umbrella of keeping the brand uh, the most elegant brand of the watch industry. Well, Longin is being positioned, I think it's, it's, it's where the brand is having its success, and if you would really slide out of your, your uh, yeah, playground, I would harm the brand probably. It would be very difficult. But if you, if you take out of that extreme rich heritage several pieces and i hear something so <laughs> let's be and let's uh, let's really uh cover that and let's uh, follow that and look very precisely what uh, matthias is planning i i'm smelling something already you're smelling right and probably <laughs> the smell will come through already by the end of this year huh? wow okay that's that's good and you must know there is a in uh, a wonderful museum here so once you can travel again and you have the possibility to come to switzerland saint -Imier, it's uh, two and a half hours from, G uh, from Geneva or something, two hours. Uh, not even, huh? not it's, uh, uh, one hour, 15, one, hour, one and a half hour okay. from Geneva. Uh, and, and also from Zurich. Come to saint -Imier, go to the museum, discover the rich history of the chronographs, of precision timekeeping, of all they have been developing the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the 1920s, 30s. Longines was ahead of the time of, in so many things. You discover this and you will understand and I... I really smell something here. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, getting access uh, to middle class uh, in the coming years, uh, which of course then uh, all potential customers for us. But at the same time, I think uh, we have also clearly the opportunity with Longin uh, to grow strongly in Europe and the USA. Uh, that are markets that uh, we probably neglected also a little bit in the past years. Uh, but we have a very, I would say, uh, strong awareness in this market. Uh, many people do not know about all the collections that, that we have launched uh, in these past years. So again, I think we are going to uh, focus again also on uh, very mature countries like Europe and the USA. Helping, helping is of course the history and uh, the rich heritage of the brand and the fact if you go into the history uh, and if you understand the brand a little bit better then uh, this helps in these markets because you have lots of uh, well-educated watch collectors and aficionados who really care for, for special watches and then when you look as I just said before price quality ratio and then of course Longines is a good choice. You, it's hard not to I always say compare them and then you will see what, you're not get, what you don't get with the competitor. It's easy. You, if you don't believe me or you say, okay, I have to say it, no, compare, you will see. You, you, can't, you can't say this, I can say it. Well, I think for us, it's always our objective to really bring in a best uh, uh, state-of-the-art quality, uh, state-of-the-art technology, and make sure we have the best possible price value ratio in the price segment of 1,000 to 4,000 US dollars. Wow, and this is a word, and I think this, you can believe that. And uh, yeah, just compare and yeah, if you compare, you will see that's true. Yeah, true. <laughs> Matthias, um, thank you very much. Um, I'm very curious now, once we finish the interview, I will uh, jump on in and ask many questions. <laughs> but uh, of course, as soon as everything is, I think, under um, ready to be presented, we will be probably one of the first to be able to discover this. I hope so, yes. Ah, you see. <laughs> He said it, he said it. <laughs> so I'm um, looking forward to be able to present you this. Matthias, thank you very much. But thank you very much also for having taken the time to come to see us here in saint imier And of course, uh, I invite uh, all our uh, viewers uh, that uh, hopefully they get the occasion to come here uh, to visit, like you mentioned, our fantastic, uh, beautiful museum uh, in a very nice environment. Uh, so uh, thank you also for having taken the effort and time to come to see us. And I hope to see you then also soon in Austria. Thank you very much, Alexander. So um, I will uh, be assist you if you need some information about how to come here, how it is possible, etc. I will assist you. I will forward uh, your requests uh, directly to um, uh, people here at uh, Longin. And so if you want to visit and if you want to come, Write me, shoot me an email, alexander at watchadvisor.com. You know that. And I will be more than happy to help you as always. And uh, we will forward you this. And maybe we can make out a little uh, common thing. And uh, if some people gather together, uh, I will be here. We can share some, some time with you, Matthias. Excellent. Thank you very much, Alexander. Stay yeah. healthy and safe. Huh? I will. Thank you. I will. I will. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, stay safe and sound. And see you soon back with our life stuff as said watch advisor states analog bye bye hey have you packed your luggage if not do so subscribe to our channel and hit the bell you will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to switzerland